What's up guys and welcome back to Tantini's channel. Today we'll play test for different twin rackets from Wilson that have 100 square inches head size. This includes the Clash 100 V2, the Blade 100 V8, uh, the Shift 300. This one actually has a 99 square inches head size but whatever I think it's gonna be a good comparison. And lastly the Pro Staff X. I try to keep it brief on the video just pointing out the characteristic of each racket, pros and cons, as well as whom I think the racket is, should be good for. Before we go to the court, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tennis content. Okay, let's start with the Clash. This one has a 295 gram unstrung weight, strong balance of 32 centimeters pretty low swing rate of 313 and extremely low stiffness of 57 16 by 19 swing pattern accessible for power and spin to sum up this racket is probably the softest racket in the market right now very arm friendly very forgiving with large sweet spot I can hit with pops like everywhere on my forehand and backhand wing uh, good access to power and spin potential medium to high launch angle uh, really easy to swing and to play with in recreational level. Good power on first serve and pretty good spin on a second serve. The downside though is the stability of the racket, especially when dealing with heavy balls on the baseline and also at the net. On the control, I think the racket is not very consistent and reliable compared to the others. I feel like it flex too much and sometimes shoot the ball out. Also, the racket has good power, but it lacks plow and penetration on hard swing. Definitely needs some modifications if you play at higher level. Overall, I think this racket is good for beginner to intermediate level, as well as for people who have arm issues and want to go soft. Okay, the next one on the line is the Blade 100 V8, 300 gram and strung, 16 by 19 string pattern, head heavy balance at. 33 centimeters and swing rate of 325. This racket feels a lot more stable than the Clash. The feel is firmer and crispier, but still comfortable. I think the stiffness is not different from my Blade 98. The racket has pretty good plow and penetration. My forehand is powerful and I can hit the ball with pretty good pace. The uh, sweet spot is larger and is more forgiving than the Blade 98 for sure but it still has the same issues with the 98, which is the spin potential and the pops on the backhand. This is the first time I tried this racket and I expected it to have more spin with larger head. But no, the spin is almost the same with the 98, probably just a little bit more. I also found not so much pops on my backhand and still under power on that wing, same as the 98. The control is pretty good. The only issue is that I tend to shoot the ball out on the pro shots because it gives more power but not extra bite on the ball. On the serve, I don't feel like it gives me more edge than the 98 first and second. So overall, I prefer the Blade 98 than this one from its headlight balance and better control. I don't think I should sacrifice the control for this extra head side that doesn't give me more spin, period. Who this racket is for, I would say intermediate to advanced level who mostly hit flat. Moving on to the Shift 300. This has a 99 square inches head size, 300 grams unstrung, 16 by 20 string pattern. Pretty strange combination, isn't it? But the string is still pretty open on the cross, allow the string to move and generate top spin. The racket has 320 string weight and high stiffness of 68. Anyway, it doesn't feel like a stiff racket at all. It's very comfortable and plush at contact. This racket has extreme spin potential and it's very easy to access it. It has high launch angle and when you hit top spin, the ball lands deep in the court, pushing the opponent back. The racket is powerful, but if you generate enough top spin, you can control the depth really well. The directional control is not like accuracy, precision like Blade or Pro Staff, but more of a guiding the ball toward the direction you want it to go. On the serve, I think I serve the best on this frame. First serve is a bomb, very powerful, and second serve, slice and spin are unmatched. I don't think I can go with this amount of spin before on other rackets. The downside though is the forgiveness. A small sweet spot and the power on and off sweet spot have huge gap. Need to be extra careful when hitting on the run. Who this racket is for? Well, 
intermediate to advanced level, but this one is really for top spin players. The last one is the Pro Staff X, 315 gram unstrung, headlight balance and thin beam, 320 swing weight, 16 by 19 swing pattern, stiffness of 66. Overall, this racket is really a bigger head PS97 with more forgiveness, power and spin. It doesn't feel sluggish like other tweener rackets thanks to its thin beam. It's pretty fast through the air and I can be whippy with that headlight balance. The racket has decent power but still prevents you from overheating most of the time. What I like on this racket is the spin. Although it's not a spin monster like the shift, but this one has pretty good access to spin and the spin potential is more than the blade. It's more like a spin through the court, which is really my type of racket. I feel like I can find pops on my backhand a bit more than the blade as well, but still not as good as on like your next rackets. The control, I would say this racket is one of the best in stability and control departments compared to twin racket categories. It still remains the pro staff identity on precision and at the net it's the best among the four rackets. The downside though is the static weight. I feel like it takes extra effort to play with, especially if you play like two to three hours. So I would say this racket is for advanced player or athlete who wants a bit more forgiving pro staff or more spin than the blade. Okay, and this is my summary on each racket. Uh, I believe the clash is good for beginners and intermediate as well as people who have arm issues. The blade is for flat hitters who want a bit more forgiveness than the 98. The Shift 300 is a spin monster for modern tennis. And the Pro Staff X is for advanced to athlete level who can handle the weight, but it rewards you well. And for me, I like the Pro Staff X the most, but not sure how long I can play well with it. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video.